If you're just setting up the Epson EcoTank 2700 and you need to know how to install the ink, you're in the right place. Also, if you're just refilling ink and you've already been using this printer, but you kind of just need a refresher, this is going to be the right video for you as well. If this video ends up being helpful, please make sure to like. Any questions at all, comment below. If you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. So if this is your first time installing bottled ink, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to lift the top of the printer and prop it up. And you're also going to need to open up the ink compartment where you're going to actually be placing the ink bottles. And what you're doing is you're matching up the color. So the black bottled ink is going to go in the compartment that is labeled black on the printer. And so you just flip the bottle upside down. You place it in there. If it's not fitting one way, you're going to turn it counterclockwise 180 degrees and you're going to try to place it in that way and it usually will work if the other way wasn't working if not try the other way again so keep switching the bottle until you get it to fit in place and that is when the ink is going to flow from the bottle into the ink compartment now with this setup ink specifically that i had i had some ink left over you may have that as well you don't want to throw that out you can use that to top off the printer later if you're just setting up uh, then you're going to need to use the setup ink, which comes in the box. That setup ink is going to be used because you need that ink to charge up the printer to get it processed and for it to be able to start printing. So that's going to use a little bit of ink. You can then top it off with the remaining ink that you have in your bottles. There's going to be a link down in the description below for some remanufactured versions of this 502 ink. It's going to be way less expensive and it's the same base of ink. So there's really no difference with the quality of the product. All it is is you're paying less money because it doesn't have the trademark name Epson on it. So you probably already know that you're going to be saving at least 80% on ink when you use low cost replacement bottles. And that is with the expensive versions of this ink. That's the Epson ink. If you end up going with some remanufactured ink options that are linked down below, you're going to be saving even more money. So you're in a win-win situation. All right. So if you end up installing one of these bottles and it's in there correctly, it's fitting in place, but the ink is not flowing. What you can do is tap the top just slightly you don't want to tap it too hard and you can also lift the bottle up and down gently not up until where it's disconnected but up enough to where maybe half of that nozzle that's sticking out and so you can slide it up and down until you feel and you hear that ink start to flow that is all you should have to do you should never have to squeeze the bottle actually don't ever squeeze the bottle uh, don't ever do anything aggressive with that bottle because you can damage something all you're doing is slight tap a slight movement up and down and that should get the ink to flow if for some reason it's not flowing at that point you may want to get a technician involved or you may want to just explore some other options maybe online what maybe somebody else has done but those are the two things that have worked for me when i have run into that situation now what happens if you install the wrong color bottle into the wrong color tank well, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to pause everything. You cannot print with that printer. And there is a method where you can actually remove that ink. It's a very long process. It's difficult, but there is a solution and you can fix the printer. But just make sure that you're installing the right colored bottle into the ink tanks. If you're setting up for the first time, once you installed all of the colors into the ink tanks, uh, you're going to want to allow the printer to uh, process. And with this printer specifically, you're powering on and then it'll start to process that ink into the system. System. I hope that this video ended up showing you exactly what you need to do to install the bottled ink, giving you some good guidance. If you have any additional questions or concerns, leave them down in the comment section below. Remember the product links down in the description below. If you're having trouble printing, uh, there's a cleaning kit that I sell. It will help you break up any blockage that's in your print head. Also remember the link for the 502 remanufactured ink. It's going to save you a ton of money if you go that route. So I really hope this video was helpful. If it was, please make sure to like. Any questions at all, comment below. And if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. That's all I have for today. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time. Yeah.